I'm about to show you the notebook LM use case that no one is talking about, but it absolutely changes everything. And that is not an overstatement because in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to upload your entire chat history from chat GPT and Claude AI into notebook LM. We're talking about three years of data, three years of conversations, three years of memories, three years of frameworks and where you can pull up memories that you forgot, search for different items and even start creating things and other assets from all of those conversations instead of just letting it sit there dead and dormant. If you didn't know, you can request a copy of your data from OpenAI and Claude and they will send it to you. But what a lot of people don't know is those files are massive. They're too big to upload to Notebook LM directly, and so we have to break them up. Now, the first time I did this, I went a very complicated route, and I didn't know there was a much simpler and easier way, but I went ahead and took the time to work out all the kinks, and now I have a very simple copy-paste method that you're gonna be able to use by the end of this video to just copy and paste this one command and have your files broken up for you. And so the first thing you wanna do is go to my YouTube channel and find probably this latest video right here or even this video right here and click on it. Then come down to the description and click on this link right here that's gonna take you to a Google form. After you fill out the Google form, you're gonna get a link to my Google Drive where you're gonna find these two documents. This is the Notebook LM Compound Intelligence Prompt Pad and this notebook has everything you need to understand about this video. It starts off with simple instructions for how to actually get your files ready for Notebook LM, but it also has some very interesting prompts that you can run once you have your ChatGPT account uploaded to Notebook LM. One quick note, don't try to copy the code from here because there are some hidden characters and it's not going to run correctly. That's why I've also provided this second document and all you have to do is come down to where it says one shot terminal command, highlight, and then stop right here where you see the PY and the dotted lines. Now we wanna copy that. And just a quick note, I'm on a Mac, I'm not on Windows. So if you're running on Windows, then I can't help you with support for that. If you're having problems finding terminal, I would suggest looking on YouTube for videos for how to open terminal on Windows or command prompt, which I believe it may be named now, I'm not sure. And from that point forward, everything in this video should work just the same. But if for some reason you paste this command and you run it and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, then all you have to do is copy everything in the terminal, both the command and the message that you received back, paste it in the chat GPT and ask why it didn't work. It works on Mac, but it's not working on my windows. And chat GPT is more than capable of solving it for you in one to two turns. But now that we got that out of the way, the next thing you wanna do is head over to OpenAI. Then you wanna click on your name in the bottom left hand corner. You wanna to go to settings, then you wanna to go to data controls, and then you wanna click on export data at the very bottom and then confirm export. Next, we want to head over to Claude, click on our name in the bottom left hand corner, click on settings, go to privacy, and then export data. Claude gives you a little more control over what you export, but I recommend just exporting everything and click export. This is what your email from Claude is going to look like. All you have to do is click download data. And after 24 hours, this is what you're going to see, an expired link. And the same thing is true for OpenAI. You have 24 hours to actually download this data because after that, invalid signature or expired URL. I'm gonna zoom in right here for you. So once you get your data back, you're gonna see a folder that looks like this that says data 2026-010213. And if you come over here to the right, you can see that the conversations is 54.1 megabytes. That is too big to upload directly to Notebook LM. But because of Notebook LM's file size limit, this can be tricky. So. With Notebook LM, the file cannot be larger than 20 megabytes, but it also can't be larger than 500,000 words, whichever comes first. What we're gonna do is use the terminal command to break up every file that is in this folder into something that is 450,000 words or less. But before you run the terminal command, this is very important. I want you to right click on this file and then click rename it. And you're gonna rename it to chat GPT underscore data, no spaces, put it in the same caps because this is the way the command is set up already. And if you just change the file name, then you don't have to worry about changing the command, which would be far more difficult. So just right click, change the file for the chat GPT data and name it like this here. And don't worry, we're gonna come back to this Claude data in just a minute. I'm gonna open up terminal on my Mac and I'm gonna paste in the command and then I'm gonna press enter or return. 
wait for a few moments and you can see that it says done input. This is the downloads chat GPT data conversations.json. That's the file that came in output users, Corey McLean downloads, and it created a folder notebook LM underscore ready. And now when we come back to finder, here's the notebook LM ready folder. Let's double click and open it. And I want you to look over here at the timestamps. It says today at 808 PM, I'm going to go up to the top of my Mac. So you can see that it is Sunday, January 4th, 8 10 PM. So these were just created. It. And the second thing I want you to look at is the file size. So everything is around 3.2, 3 megabytes. And that's how we know that these files have been chunked the proper way because 450,000 words should just be the same file size across the board, right? So all of them are pretty close to that. So we're good to go there. The next thing I want you to look at is the kind of files they are. They are markdown text files. That means that they are human readable. And so just to show you, I'm going to open number 24. And so if I scroll through this, you can see that this is a full conversation taking place right here. And so this is exactly what we want because not only is this machine readable, but this is also notebook LM readable because one of the problems with the files you get back from OpenAI and probably even Claude is that there is just so much metadata, but not only does this Python script chunk everything down to 450,000 words or less, it also strips out all of the metadata and throws it away so that the only thing that is left are the labels between you and the chat by going backwards and forward. And so now this is the Claude data right here. And now we want to batch this. And so all you want to do is grab this folder, drop it inside of the chat GPT folder. I'm going to take this notebook LM folder and move it to the trash. Then I'm going to take the chat GPT conversations and I'm going to move that to the trash as well. Then I'm going to take my Claude conversations and I'm going to drag it out. I'm going back to terminal. I'm at the bottom. I'm going to paste the command again and run it one more time. And if you look at the bottom users, Corey McLean downloads chat GPT data conversations.json and then the output, the notebook LM ready folder. The main thing you need to remember about this, whenever you're using this script to chunk any data is that you want to move the data into that chat GPT folder and just make sure that the name is conversations.json and it'll find that file and then chunk it. It'll parse it. Now we're back in my finder and you can see the notebook LM ready folder right here. And so this time it only gave me one of them. So let's close this up. I don't know why, but the one shot command that I had for chat GPT that was working for Claude yesterday did not work today during the recording of this video. And so I had to come to chat GPT and troubleshoot it. And that's literally all you want to do whenever these things don't work. And eventually chat GPT rewrote the command. So now I have one that works for both chat GPT and Claude. And what I did was I told chat GPT to give me a downloadable link right here, the text file that I could upload to my Google drive. So when you download the notebook LM compound intelligence prompt pack and you get the link to my Google drive, not only are you going to have this PDF right here, you're also going to see one that says works for chat GPT. And then this one that says works for claw and chat GPT. So if you use the first one and it doesn't work, then try the second one, but everything is still the same. You're going to parse or chunk your chat GPT data. And then if you have Claude data, just move the chat GPT data out of the folder and then move the Claude data in the folder. Make sure it's named conversations.json, run it again, and it's going to find it and parse it. And this is the part we've all been waiting for. You want to come over to notebook LM and click on create a new notebook. Click choose file. Then you want to navigate to where your files are. So these are the Claude files right here. I already have them uploaded as you probably noticed on my screen a second ago. And now we're inside of my chat GPT notebook and you can see the label right here from 2022 to 2025. And if you look on the left hand side, you can see that there are 82 different files and I can click on either one of these and notebook LM is going to open it up. Now, once we start scrolling down, you can see how detailed this file is by how little this margin right here actually moves. Now that you uploaded your chat GPT and your Claude data to Notebook LM, we can do some very creative things that we just haven't been able to do with Notebook LM or chat GPT or Claude for that matter. Now I can ask Notebook LM to act as a system analyst and go through three years of chat GPT conversations and find the frameworks that I've used the most often or the ones that I've had the most success with or that I lean on the most. Or if you want to be creative, instead of dropping this in the chat, just take your prompts and automatically run them over here in the AI studio. 
So for instance, you might go to reports, create your own, paste your prompt, and then click generate. Glancing over this, I can see how it's giving me a very high level view of everything that I've been using ChatGPT for. And I can see at least two frameworks that it surfaced. One of them in particular that I didn't get to finish actually developing that I actually wanna come back to, but another one right here. So what I wanna do is copy those frameworks and now I'm gonna create a slide deck that asks Notebook LM to create a slide deck presentation to remind me about those frameworks because I don't remember what they were. I remember the five eyes vaguely, but I don't remember rapid at all. Generating digital assets inside of Notebook LM based on my three years conversation history with ChatGPT is just the beginning of what I'm able to do because I'm also able to come over here to Gemini, click on the plus button to add files. I can choose Notebook LM and then I can choose my ChatGPT conversations and I can choose my Claude AI conversations. I can add them both to the chat and then I can run the same prompt here in the chat. But instead of asking Gemini to create a slide deck, I might say, well, you know what? I'm gonna load Nano Banana Pro. Create a, I don't know, a punk rock synth wave vibe uh, notebook LM image that explains to me what these two frameworks actually mean in as few words as possible. Paste in the frameworks, press enter, and now let's let Nano Banana Pro actually create an image that explains both of these frameworks using ChatGPT and Claude if I consulted with Claude about it, which I probably didn't. And just like that, we have a detailed image. And so the five I system framework is about imagine, instruct, implement, inspect, inaugurate, sealing the work, rapid system, rally emotion, angle controversy, production originality, interaction velocity, delivery algorithm. I believe this is about content designed for rapid audience growth, Facebook reels, addresses. Ah, I remember this. Ah, I think it's coming to me now. I'm getting a little bit more clearer on this, but these are both some great frameworks that I never finished fully developing. So if I wanted to go back to those, I can definitely pull this stuff up with Notebook LM and Gemini. And if we come back over here to Notebook LM, we can see that there is a full report that's been generated. Master Frameworks and Systems Index. Suffice it to say that this is a very well put together document. And if you look in this AI studio for ChatGPT, you can see that there are so many other assets that I've created to help me capitalize on my three years with ChatGPT and make 2026 a better year. Create a vision board image that captures what you believe my 2026 is going to look like. Be brutally honest. If you think that based on my conversations, success lies in my future or failure, just show me what you think is going to look like based on the trajectory of my conversations and the things that have happened recently that you can ascertain. Brutally honest trajectory. Success is possible. Failure, learning, retry. This was very modest, future trajectory. So it didn't give me a straightforward answer, which is cool. I just want you to see what's possible. So if you've made it this far in the video and you wanna upload your data from ChatGPT or Claw to Notebook LM so that you can start inspecting, researching, and discovering a lot of new things about yourself, about the frameworks, about solutions that you've discovered and forgot about, then make sure you go to the description and click on the Google form link right here. And once you click on that link, you're gonna see a form like this. Fill out this form. Just make sure it says Notebook LM Compound Intelligence Prompt Packet the top and you're good to go. Once you complete that form, you're going to see a thank you message with the link to this Google Drive folder. If you can't click on the link, copy it and paste it in the browser and you're going to see these three files. This is the Compound Intelligence Prompt Pack. It's going to have 16 prompts inside that are going to give you some unique ways to start using this data. But again, there are no right and wrong ways. So you can start creating any type of assets you want. Number two, there are going to be two different one shot terminals. So if you only have chat GPT data, feel free to just use the one that works for chat GPT. And if you also have Claude data, make sure you use this one for the Claude data. After you move the Claude files into the chat GPT folder, just just like we discussed at the beginning of the video. And one more thing, sometimes this stuff just doesn't work and I can't tell you why. But one thing I can tell you is if you paste 
your terminal messages inside of ChatGPT, or if you take a screenshot and drop it inside of ChatGPT and just tell it in plain language what you're trying to do. Just give it as much data as possible, tell it everything, and then ask it to fix the problem. It's going to fix it. So if you got value out of this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to help the channel grow, hit the hype button as well and give it some hype points and think about subscribing to the channel. And as always, take care, have a good day. And if you want to see some more interesting use cases about how I'm using my chat GPT data with Gemini, then make sure you check out this video right here.